PYT Sports, everyone. Ben Mankiewicz, Jackie Bray over there, Misty Kingman. Misty, how are you? Good. How are you doing? You love sports. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, happy St. Patrick's <laughs> Day. You, would you wear anything green? Her watch. Oh, yeah. Nicely done. I didn't want you to pinch me. <laughs> uh, Jen Sturger is the woman who had the pictures, the Jets employee, former Jets employee, who had the pictures of Brett Favre and his manhood. Right. His flaccid manhood, which Exciting. still still puzzles me. Gross. Um, did you see the thing? The yeah. picture, picture? Did you see it? No. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen it. You don't it want to. You don't want to. I think to. I do. It's not impressive. It's not a good one? No. Okay. But that's why I want to see it. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jen Sturger, she, we don't know who gave the pictures to whom. That's still in question how the story came out in the first place. I don't really buy her story in any way. And now it turns out I don't buy her story that she that gave it to a friend and that she wasn't involved in right. getting the story to Deadspin. That said, who had the story originally? Now she had planned to write a book? Um, well, her and her manager, Phil Reese, they kept a lot of the text messages and voicemails and pictures and didn't release them to the media with the whole point of they were going to make a book called Game of Inches. <laughs> And <laughs> that sounds so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's a terrible title. And what was the idea behind the book? What's the point of the book? It was basically just going to be about the scandal. I'm not really too sure if it was going to be her side of the story or just get more in depth about what Favre was doing and saying. But, but didn't they say that the whole point was to sort of make it seem like this guy was a... I think it's kind of damage control on her end, but they well, don't really state what will be in the book besides... You know. I think they point out that the, what the idea of the book is that they will expose Brett Favre for being a pervy wanker. Yeah, but basically, but yeah, and that's going to make Jen Sturger, Serger look a lot better in the end because, oh, poor innocent little me. Right, all in this case. were happening to me. Even though nobody's accusing Brett Favre in this case, just want to be clear on this, of committing any sort of crime. Right. Just that he was a pervy wanker. She um, changed her mind on the whole thing. She, doesn't want, she didn't want to have anything to do with the book, but now her manager is saying, Okay, it's my idea. I'm going to run with it. I'm going to get this book published. And now she's suing him. So everything's kind of coming out. So up. she's suing him because he wants to write a book with her photos and her texts and her emails, which she gave him. Two questions in this. Mm -hmm. uh, one, I is he a douche? Uh, yes. Yes. Like, I mean, it's her stuff, right? But is yeah. she a douche? Interesting. And? <laughs> Why would she want a book about all this? In Why the first place. Yeah. To and get paid. It's easy. Money. Yeah. Yeah, but now, now she doesn't want anything to do with it, so now she's suing her manager for the money. I don't know why she changed her mind. You want to see the book? You want to see all the photos and the voicemail? Yeah, I mean, she obviously wanted to go ahead with it, and she wanted to make some money, so why'd she back out? Who talked her out of it? There was a debate we had before we ran the story about how attractive Jen Sturger is. Misty. She's attractive enough. Attractive enough to what? <laughs> Sexually harass? She make this book successful and make some money from it. Is she sexual harassment material? Yes. Okay, I'm not allowed to make fun of that. Um, I'm a harsh <laughs> critic, and I think she is. Okay, and Jackie? I definitely think she's attractive. I think she's a very pretty girl, but I don't know. She's not She's not my cup of tea. She's not your type? Yeah, she's definitely That's not fine. my type. <laughs> yeah, no. And is uh, who do you like more in the story, the limited extent that you know about it? are you? Because I'm uncomfortable with everyone. Brett Favre clearly crossed massive lines here. Gross. I mean, you can't, you can't send somebody pictures of your genitalia. You just, you can't do it. It's a pretty basic rule. I don't even think it has to be written down. I think it's fairly <laughs> instinctive. It's innate behavior. Uh, that's you don't, debatable. You don't take a picture of your yaya and then <laughs> send it to somebody unless they're like, hey, can, can, I, can I see your penis? Well, athletes think they can apparently do stuff that r us cannot. The rest of us, yes. Yes. Um, I don't know. I've never sent a picture of my penis anywhere, and I'm not going to. And certainly to somebody who's not, isn't clear, is desperate to see that photo. <laughs> and I think we all know the likelihood of anyone in that sense of desperation uh, ever existing. So, as far as we know. Uh, so we don't like anybody involved in the story. Now we've yeah. added another person not to like uh, yeah, manage, manager. Manager sounds like a big time douche too. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Agreed. 